Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome to Galveston Island. Yeah, it's a beautiful place and this is stop number four on the road. Yeah, we got a lot of fun stuff we hope to do while we're here and of course we're going to bring y'all along. So stick with us and join us on this stop as we RV Texas y'all. <laughs> And you can see Star loves the place. Yeah, I think she's comfortable with Galveston. <laughs> Anything with grass and she could watch the birds and lay in the sun, she was all over it. Absolutely. Now we're camping on the bay side. Galveston Island State Park actually has two separate RV and tent camping areas. One is the beach side and one is the bay side. And every time we've been, we've camped on the bay side. Uh, it's basically backs up to the bay, as you see, and uh, all the sites are built around a circle, and they come with picnic tables and nice views. And uh, but we got lucky with this site. I mean, it wasn't the reservation system as it is now, so we didn't reserve this site originally. Yeah, we just got this, it. this was a great site. We were really lucky to get it because we had great views of the sunset every night, birds during the day and in the morning. Uh, really nice. The sites over here are 30 and 50 amp with city water. Uh, there are no full hookup sites at Galveston Island State Park. Uh, but the dump station is nearby. And then in the center here of the circle, there are community grills and fire pits. Okay, so here at Galveston State Park, we don't have sewer hookups at our site, but at a lot of the state parks, that's the case. So that's why we have a Blue Boy, which we'll put a link down below to our, our store on these. And, and what, what the Blue Boy gives us is these state parks at least have a dump site that you can go to. So when our gray tank fills up, which that's always the first for us to fill up, we, we dump it into here and then we'll take it over to the site and we'll show you how we do that. But all I have to do is connect the hose that comes off this to my uh, hose here coming out of the RV. And I can show you that. Okay. And we only do gray. We don't do black. You know, we just let our gray make it. So I open up the gray. There's a little valve here. It did have a top on, but you take it off. Once this gets to a full level, there's a little bubble that'll pop up. So then you know it's full, and then you shut the valve, and it, it accounts for what's in the tube. So then you can close it up, and we'll kind of, we'll show you how we take it over to the uh, dump station. 
So now we got it filled up and back in, and we're going to take it around to the Jeep, and I'll show you how we hook it onto the Jeep so we can roll it. Obviously, you roll slow to the dump. I mean, as slow as you can go. But real quickly here, we've got to move the Jeep so we can put it on the Jeep in the proper way so we can go to the dumps. Oh, yep, back up with so it. So brake for just a second. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got the Jeep in place. So now, you just take your handle, hook around your ball, and, and um, you can pull it. Now we bungee, the bungee's around the ball and the hitch just to keep it on there. We also run another bungee from here to another spot to make sure this doesn't flop back as we're in the we're going to go ahead and do that we're not going to do that on the video because i don't want to take all the time but i just wanted to give you those two little tips and we'll show you on our way out what, what it's looking like okay you can see it hooked up here <laughs> stacy's driving So do you want to get me rolling it over there? Yes. Yeah, it's about right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, we okay, so we got all dumped. You know, you didn't want to see that. I didn't I didn't need to show you that, but we we got it dumped and now we've got it put back together. But this time when we go back. We just put it in the back of the Jeep, and this is where we keep our Blue Boy anyway. So, they're not that heavy. You that's can a see. 27 gallon, I think, on that one. Well, that's that's the capacity, yeah. but they're not heavy is what I'm saying. So, you just put it in the back. Voila! We're done. Headed back to the campsite. Now, while we were here in Galveston, they had Galveston Museum Day, and the place we decided to go was Sea Wolf Park, and actually the uh, Galveston Naval Museum. Now, my parents used to bring me here when I was a kid, and I have great memories, uh, so it's fun to go back. Uh, this, we got to meet our friends Betsy and Chris here. They also have a YouTube channel, by the way, called As We Go, and, and Betsy did some videos uh, of this experience as well, so check them out. But this is an interesting park, the, uh, the Galveston Naval Museum here at Sea Wolf Park. It used to be called the American Undersea Warfare Center, uh, and just in 2018 they changed the name. What we're in now is the USS Kavala. This is a submarine from World War II. It's been here at Sea Wolf Park since 1971. It's known as the Avenger of Pearl Harbor because on its maiden voyage, it actually sunk the Japanese aircraft carrier Shokaku, which was a veteran of both Pearl Harbor and the Battle of the Coral Sea. And the ship received a presidential unit citation for that action. So it was decommissioned in 1946, returned to service after receiving a few modifications and being reclassified in 1958 and 1951. Uh, but it, they call it the Lucky Lady because it was saved from the scrapyards again and uh, found its home here in Galveston in 1971. Interesting to be able to go through a World War II era submarine and get a sense of what life was like for these guys. Then you walk straight across and you go to the USS Stewart. Now this is an Edsel class destroyer escort. It was actually built in Houston, believe it or not and it was served as a training vessel out of Miami originally. Um, it's 306 feet long. It was commissioned in 1943 
and uh, it escorted President Roosevelt's presidential yacht down the Potomac River uh, before it went on to serve in heavy seas and icing conditions in the North Atlantic, then moved over to the Pacific side, uh, did training in Pearl Harbor. This is actually, uh, it was decommissioned in 1947. It is the only Edsel class destroyer es escort in the U.S. today, and it's on the National Register of Historic Places. So how cool is that? Uh, great to have it here in Galveston. And you know, one of the neat things about Galveston is you're on these World War II class ships, and then you look outside and look at what you see. I mean, just the past and, and the current day coming together on the sea here. As we stepped outside, the cruise ship was passing by. You may not know, but Galveston has a pretty active cruise terminal these days, and we've taken several cruises uh, out of the Galveston terminal. We hear they're expanding it to have even more cruise ships go by. And actually, some of the first full-time RVers that we actually ever met we met on a cruise out of Galveston. They were taking a break from their RV travels and sailing on a ship. So very, very cool. Well, that was a quick trip to Galveston. Yeah, it was it was a good one though. We got to spend some time with Austin since he came, you know, he came back from the holidays for college here in Galveston. So we got to spend a lot of time with him, and yeah, and we got to see Betsy and Chris, our friends who winter down here. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, and and also, you know, we really got to meet some good folks. Yeah, we well, really did. I Laurel mean and Eric uh, were just incredible incredible people and of course you hopefully you already saw that video that we had that was our hundredth video yeah um, if you haven't you want to we'll put a link down for you to see that because wow that was uh that was awesome yeah <laughs> and they're awesome people i mean that's the hard part of this full-time RVing is that we had to say goodbye but You're always doing that, but it's always until next time. Until next time, because I guarantee you we will see them on the road again. Awesome people. We, I, you know, I'll drive, I'll drive a couple hundred miles out of the way to see them again. And then, you know, we met quite a few other folks, too, that uh, follow us on our channel yeah, or, or the website or whatever and stopped and introduced themselves and said hi and visited. Yeah, and we really appreciate that. Yeah, we love when we get to meet y'all. So thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by. Yeah, and one other thing that we did right this time, <laughs> where the place we're going to now, we're, it's not near a grocery store, so we really needed groceries. But this time we thought about it. We actually went before we left. The Jeep was empty, you'll see that. We didn't, went by empty, I mean, it didn't have the kayaks on it. It didn't have the bikes in the back. We didn't have the, the blue boy in the back. So we had room because the, the time before this when we got groceries, we didn't even think about it. We went to the grocery store, we had all that, and we couldn't even get the groceries in the back. <laughs> Yeah, we were loaded up, ready to leave West Columbia, actually. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we didn't even think about it. We thought, okay, we'll load everything up and then we'll run to the grocery store and then we'll hook up and we'll be on our way. Yeah, except that when we're loaded up, the Jeep is full. So <laughs> yeah, we're so learning as we go. We're learning and, and it's a lot easier when the Jeep's not all loaded up and doesn't have the kayaks. And, and so it worked so much better this morning and they're all put up or so now when we get to our next stop, we're basically fueled up, as you say. We are. And then, so okay, so this was a quick trip to Galveston Island State Park, and we had so much going on. We had some stuff going on, you know, with the, you know, selling the house and, and uh, some other things coming up with that. And, uh, you know, we were spending time with Austin, and, uh, you know, a couple days were a little chilly, and it was actually sleeting when we got there, crazy yeah. enough. Yeah. Uh, but, um, so we didn't end up doing a park video this time, but we're going to come back real soon and do a full Galveston Island State Park video for y'all. Yeah, and it's going to be a video where it's going to show you how it is today. They're about to start 
uh, it's major renovation yeah. on the beach side of Galveston State Park. They said around June 15th, I think. Somewhere in there. Give or yeah. take a couple weeks. So that's coming up. They say that the bay side where we just stayed is going to be open. Mm -hmm. But the beach camping will be closed for a few years while they're doing that, uh, starting in summer of 2018, it sounds like. Yep. But we'll get back there before then. Yep. So we can show you what it looks like now and uh, show you around the park. It is a neat little park. Uh, we look forward to doing some kayaking on the bay there and uh, riding the bikes. And uh, hopefully when we're there, will be more birding season. That's one reason we want to go back, uh, you know, in the next, you know, when it gets a, a little warmer. So hopefully we can show you guys some interesting birds because this is on the migratory path for the birds. Yeah, so we're looking forward to that. Yeah. And what we're learning, it's interesting that, you know, it's, uh, these days are flying by. God, it's crazy how fast these days are flying by. Uh, they're flying by, um, and we're, we're still learning how to do this thing and try to vlog at the same time and, and get work done because, you know, we're trying to build our channel and build our our website and everything and, and, uh, and make it bigger, better, and stronger. Uh, so, but, but it's tough to do. So, you know, because we want to show you everything that we can about the area and show you some neat things to do. And and uh, that takes a little bit of research, too, to make sure, that, you know, that we're finding some uh, fun and cool things to show you. Uh, yeah. So we're working on that. So bear with us. And uh, as we kind of learn the ropes here of not only living on the road full time, but, uh, you know, bringing it all to you also. Yeah, so. and as we learn the ropes, hopefully we help you guys maybe learn the ropes before you go out on, or if you're on the road, who knows? Put comments down there, tell us what you do to try to keep yourself more organized and maybe get some things done as you're traveling. Do you stay longer in places or is it just a better use of your time? Yeah, uh, that's a know. great question. I would love to know for any of y'all who travel even if you're not full-timers, if you travel for extended periods of time, yeah. I would love to know kind of what your sweet spot is for how long you stay somewhere. Yeah, um, like, and how far do you travel in a day, you know, between your two destinations? Yeah, That'd be really interesting. We're still learning it. Um, our, our, our brief analysis is stay a few more days instead of a few less. <laughs> yeah. The days, like I said, the days just fly by, you know, and and what we thought was definitely going to be enough time at each of these first few stops was never enough time. Yeah. So um, so we're going to make a few adjustments on that, I think, going forward, and we'll share those with you. Yeah, and you know what? If you don't already subscribe to the channel, we please join us, you know. Hit subscribe, and you can kind of follow along with us as we continue our full-time journey. Uh, and it is a journey. It changes every single day, and yes. it's awesome, I will tell you. I mean, we're, we are very, very happy, uh, but we're still in process. We are definitely a work in process. And if you like the video, we ask you please hit like on the video. That helps us. If you have somebody that you think might be interested, friends or family, please share it with them. And if you haven't already, yeah, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll get notifications of our future videos. And I want to say thank you to the Posse. Yes, thank you, Posse. Yeah. If you're interested in more content, uh, maybe some, uh, just more content, behind the scenes, uh, real-time stuff, jump over to Patreon and check us out at patreon.com RV Texas Y'all and consider joining our Posse. We appreciate all that. Yeah. Yeah. And until next time, y'all, if you want to see where we're going next, make sure you hit subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Safe travels. And happy camping. Bye. Bye.